as I already have a IMAX B6 uh, clone which uh, works uh, very good and you can uh, see a review of this here where I'm going to add uh, a link to it uh, I have decided uh, also to give a try to the AccuCell 6 Turnigy charger which is an uh, 80 watts uh, model uh, there are uh, almost uh, identical chargers but this one has uh, uh, increased the charging current and also increased discharge current it also has a few features, extra features that are not found on the IMAX B6 like uh, high voltage LiPos compatibility and uh, you can adjust the terminal voltage for over charging or over under charging lipos and uh, a few other features but uh, mostly they do the same thing so here is the AQ cell 6 I'm gonna take this off and also this uh, first thing that uh, you are going to notice is the power input port which is an uh, XT60 connector which is found on uh, LiPo batteries like this you can see it's the same connector uh, and uh, if you previously used the power adapter like this on your IMAX with a DC jack this will not uh, fit here so I came up with a uh, small adapter which costs almost nothing uh, you can uh, build uh, this by yourself and I'm going to show you how I'm gonna add here a link of uh, how to build this so just plug this in like this and you can use your old IMAX uh, power supply so there it goes and you can also use a car adapter like this it's a simple cable with a cigarette uh, plug here it's not recommended to use this if you charge high capacity batteries exceeding uh, uh, 100 watts of uh, power draw because uh, your uh, car uh, plug will not uh, be able to supply that much current this has a built-in fuse to protect uh, your circuit and uh, if the charger takes too much it will blow the fuse Going back to the charger, you can see it's similar to the IMAX, it has a cooler here, the menu it's much alike, you have uh, this high voltage option uh, and uh, you have some uh, things like battery meter which wasn't uh, on the IMAX and uh, battery resistance test which measures the internal uh, resistance of uh, each cell and uh, the rest of the menu it's the same and uh, same functions are implemented the charger uh, will come with some cables but the bundle is not so uh, good comparing to the IMAX as uh, it only has uh, a minimal needed cables and by minimal needed cables I mean that only has these cables a crocodile clips with a XT60 connector and also two XT60s with banana plugs nothing more so if you have GST batteries or uh, other types of batteries you need to uh, build yourself an adapter or uh, search for uh, one online let's see how the charger will uh, work I'm going to connect a battery to it and use this shorter cable so plus minus and balance plug let's see first a battery meter and it shows voltage for 
each of the cells. This is a three cell battery, so three cells here. This battery was uh, kept in uh, storage, so you can see it's close value to storage voltage. Main voltage, highest cell voltage, lowest cell voltage. Alright, so battery resistance, let's see. So it's in uh, milliohms, you can see 9 milliohms, 6 milliohms, and 6 milliohms. And here is the total internal resistance, the highest and the lowest. Alright, and what else we can see? If we go to the LiPo, the LiPo, I'm not going to charge it or uh, discharge it. I'm going to check the voltage to see if it's reported correctly. So on the bat meter we have 382, 382 and 382. I'm gonna disconnect this plug. I'm going to use a, a cell checker like this. And here we have three cells and number one cell has 381 number 2 cell 381 and number 3 cell 382 so it's very close to uh, to the indication on the display of the turn EG charger so it seems to be accurate we'll see in the long run how good uh, this charger is but it does a job and uh, I chose this model uh, because I also have a Phantom 3 and I tend to charge its uh, battery with this as I can uh, control the charging current and uh, it's compatible with uh, high voltage LiPos. Bye bye!